Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial. This time we're looking at redstone doors and as you can see behind me, everything just looks very plain and simple and I've just spawned in a, a new world. I've just created a new, a new world, uh, but I do actually have a secret base around here somewhere. So in the side of this cliff, uh, we actually do have a secret door uh, leading into our little base as well. So that's pretty cool where we can uh, have, our, have our little hideaway and uh, store all of our treasures. So we're going to have a look at how to actually make this door um, um, here, so I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. You can make it with any material that you like Okay, as you can see I've recreated the side of the cliff here And all you have to do is step on these pressure plates and uh, run through and you're clear and then the door will close behind you So we're gonna have a look at exactly how to make this and uh, we'll start from the beginning and uh, you can follow along But we need to use a sticky pistons for this uh, We're gonna use two sticky pistons just like that and then uh, four squares away. We're gonna use another two sticky pistons um, We need to go uh, one more away just like that um, now we're going to use the, the stone blocks here just so it does look like this side of a cliff uh, we're going to go one two and one two just like that um, so we won't bother with the side of the cliff face just yet actually we're only going at single um, single wide uh, we'll go double high um, it can go double wide as well um, it's a little bit more complicated but uh, we'll just do the single for now uh, that's all we really need to block off the the entrance uh, to our secret base so there we go this is going to be the door now the door is powered um, just like this if I put a redstone there uh, you'll see the the bottom piston will activate now what we want is uh, both of these pistons to activate uh, if I put some wool there um, it doesn't have to be wool it can be uh, anything you like but we'll just use wool just to so we can see what's going on both of the pistons will activate there so uh, we're gonna put some redstone up here uh, we're going to put some pressure plates just um, let's put them let's have a little bit of a gap here I, I do like the um, having a bit of a gap it means you do have to run a little bit faster to get through the door before it closes but uh, yeah I think it just looks a little bit nicer and you can actually uh, watch these doors opening uh, from a bit of a gap there um, so what we want to do is get underneath this wall here so we can power the uh, the redstone there um, we want to um, just dig down to uh, we're putting the uh, the redstone down there now we're just going to bring it across and in just underneath the wall here we want some more wool or another block there and we're going to put a torch um, underneath there. So what's that, what that is going to do is actually power uh, these pistons. It's going to send the signal up here to this redstone which is going to power both of these pistons and actually close the door. So we want the door closed uh, when we're not standing on the pressure plates. And when we stand on the pressure plate it's going to open. It's going to power this one here, which is going to turn off this torch and uh, close the door. So that's that's uh, basically um, how we do it. It is pretty simple uh, once you know how to do it. So we'll do the same on the other side as well. Um, let's just remove that block there. We're going to move the redstone across. Just remove that, those two. And let's just use some sand so you know that uh, we don't actually need to use our wool. We can use whatever we like. Um, it should still work the same. Uh, we need a little bit of redstone at the top. There we go to keep both of them both of them going. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Um, we have a working door. Fantastic. Now we can actually close this up because we have gone two down. Uh, so we can close this up. Um, so you have no idea that the redstone is there. Um, it's a bit of a bit of a secret there, a bit of a secret door. Uh, let's go two down on the other side as well. Uh, we're just going to put the uh, the redstone down here as well, and it should work from the other side. Beautiful, that's working. And uh, we'll do the same over here as well. Let's just bring in the redstone um, there. Beautiful. So they both should be working. Is that not? Uh, is that not working? Uh, we need one underneath the pressure plate. Yeah, I always forget that one. We need one underneath the pressure plate as well. Um, there we go. So they're both working. We can close this up. Um, fantastic. We should have a oops. We should have a, a working uh, redstone door now. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. Just need a bit of redstone, a redstone torch, and uh, some sticky pistons as well. Now we can actually um, uh, just build in the the cliff face here as well, uh, just so you won't be able to to see any of these pistons or the redstone as well. So let's just put these uh, put these together. Um, just put these around. Um, we can just just gonna hide the the redstone just um, just like that. There we go. So that uh, there's gonna be actually no sight of uh, those pistons. Um, there we go. So that's almost done now. Let's just put a put a few more uh, a few more blocks here. We'll block off this uh, this redstone here as well. 
Okay, beautiful. There we go. We have the side of the cliff. Um, just need one more little bit here. And uh, you can decorate this any way you like. You can have it, an overhang there, or you can just have a flat. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can have it um, symmetrical or just kind of a bit all over the place, um, so it does look like a bit of a, the side of a cliff. Um, but there you go, that's a working redstone door we run through, beautiful. Now if you are a little bit too slow, uh, you will get stuck in there, but you'll get pushed out. There you go, so yeah, <laughs> if you are too slow, um, you can just walk through, that's fine. Uh, you can walk through, if you do get stuck, it'll push you back one side or the other. But that is the, the working uh, redstone door, um, you can use it in your survival games, it's uh, really easy to make. And uh, yeah, hope, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this redstone tutorial. So we'll see you all again for another uh, tutorial very soon. See you guys. Bye.